हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन टेक्निक कॉल्ड एज सिमसन्स वन थर्ड रूल लेट अस सी इट्स स्टेटमेंट इट स्टेट्स दैट अप्रॉक्सिमेट वैल्यू ऑफ अ डेफिनाइट इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स डी ओवर द लिमिट ए टू बी वेन इंटरवल ए टू बी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू एन इक्विडिस्टेंट इंटरवल्स इज गिवन बाय एच बाई थ्री इंटू एक्स प्लस टू ई प्लस फोर ओ वेर एक्स इज सम ऑफ एक्सट्रीम ऑर्डिनेट्स दैट इज वाई नॉट प्लस वाई एन ई इज सम ऑफ इवन ऑर्डिनेट्स दैट इज वाई टू प्लस वाई फोर प्लस वाई सिक्स एंड सो ऑन ओ इज सम ऑफ ऑड ऑर्डिनेट्स दैट इज वाई वन प्लस वाई थ्री प्लस वाई फाइव एंड सो ऑन एंड एच इज डी माइनस ए अपॉन एन This is step size of the sub intervals of interval A B. Note that this y not and y n will not occur in E as well as O. Now let us see examples on Simpson's one third rule. In this first example, we are asked to apply Simpson's one third rule to find the value of the definite integral of one upon one plus x square dx over the limit zero to six up to two places of decimals. Now let us see its solution. Since the step size of the interval zero to six is not mentioned, we will divide the region in six equal intervals. So here, step size will be six minus zero upon six, that is one. So if we take step size as h is equal to one, then x naught will be zero, x one will be one. X two will be two, and so on. Similarly, x six will be six. Now, using f of x is equal to this integrand one upon one plus x square, we will prepare the following data table. So these are your x naught, x one, x two, x three, x four, x five, x six values. These are obtained by adding h in the x zero value, and so on. Similarly, when you put x values in this f of x, you will get corresponding y values. So this is your y not, y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, and y six. Now let us calculate value of capital X. We know that capital X is sum of extreme ordinates. That is y not plus y six. That is one plus zero point zero three, which is one point zero three. Now let us calculate capital E. Capital E is sum of even ordinates, that is y two plus y four here. We cannot take y six in E because y six is already utilized in X. So E is y two plus y four. So here we found y two plus y four is zero point two six. Now let's calculate capital O. Capital O is sum of odd ordinates, that is y one. Plus y three plus y five. When we add these ordinates, we found O is zero point six four. Now let us substitute these values in Simpson's one third rule. According to Simpson's one third rule, value of this definite integral is h by three into x plus two e plus four o. H is one, x is one point zero three, e is zero point two six, and O is zero point six four. So after substituting and calculating, we get value of this integral to be one point three seven. I hope, guys, you understood this example. Now let us see another example of similar type. Here we are asked to apply Simpson's one third rule to find the value of definite integral of one by x dx over the limit one to two, taking ten equal intervals. So here it is mentioned that the number of intervals into which this Interval one to two should be divided is ten. So step size will be two minus one upon ten, which is zero point one. Now here f of x is one by x. So using this we can prepare a following data table. So these are your x values. X zero is one. Adding h in it we get x one as one point one. Adding h in it we'll get x two as 1.2. Similarly, x3 has 1.3, x4 is 
x5 is 1.5 and so on up to 2. When we substitute these x values in f of x is equal to 1 by x, we get corresponding f of x values. Let us carry forward this table on my next slide. Now using this table, we will calculate values of x, e and o. x is sum of extreme ordinates that is y0 plus yn. So we found it is to be 1 plus 0 0.5 that is 1.5. E is sum of even ordinates that is y2 plus y4 plus y6 plus y8. So when we add them, we get E is equal to 2.7282. Now let's calculate capital O. Capital O will be y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus y7 plus y9. When we add them together, we found O as 3.45955. Now let us use Simpson's one third rule. According to Simpson's one third rule, value of this definite integral is given by h by 3 into x plus 2e plus 4o. Let us substitute values of h, x, e and o over here and calculate using calculator. We found value of this integral to be 0.69315. I hope you understood this solution. Now let us proceed for next example. Here we are asked to apply Simpson's one third rule to find the value of integral of 1 upon 1 plus x dx over the limit 2 to 10 taking 8 equal intervals and we are asked to compare it with exact value. So there are two parts of this solution. In first part we have to find value of this definite integral using Simpson's one third rule. And in second part, we have to find the exact value of this integral and we have to compare it with the Simpson's one third rules answer. So, here we see that we are asked to divide this interval 2 to 10 into 8 equal intervals. So, each interval will be of the size 10 minus 2 by 8. So, h will be 8 upon 8 that is 1. Now we take f of x as 1 upon 1 plus x and taking h we will calculate the table of data as follows. So here x0 will be 2, adding h in it we will get x1, then x2, x3 and so on. Now we will substitute these values of x in the definition of f of x which is 1 upon 1 plus x and we find the corresponding y values. So this we found to be y0 y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7 and y8. Now let's calculate capital X. We know capital X is y0 plus yn. Here yn is 8. So y0 plus yn we found to be 0 0.4242. Now let's calculate capital E. Capital A is sum of even ordinates that is y2 plus y4 plus y6. So we found e to be 0 0.4540. Then we find capital O which is sum of odd ordinates that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus y7. So we found O to be 0 0.6417. Now by Simpson's one third rule value of this definite integral is given by h by 3 into x plus 2e plus 4o Substituting values of h, x, e and o over here, we get value of this definite integral to be 1.2996. So here we have completed the first part of the equation that is finding value of the definite integral using Simpson's one third rule. Now let us find out its exact value. We know that integral of 1 upon 1 plus x dx is log of 1 plus x. Now let us substitute these limits in x. When we put 10 in x, we get log of 11 minus when we put 2 in x, we get log of 3. Then using calculator, you can find what is log 11 minus log 3. I found it to be 1.2993. Using Simpson's rule, we found value of this integral as 1.2996. So the difference between these two solutions is 0 
it is very negligible difference but still there is some difference between this approximate value and this exact value i hope guys you understood these examples on simpson's one third rule now it is your turn to solve the examples i have couple of examples for you their final solutions are also given here so that you can tally your answer please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not in my next video i'll be discussing a numerical integration technique called as simpson's 3/8th rule till then keep watching thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos